Would you like to see your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? If so, email us. Please send us pictures, videos, or any other information you want included. You guys are the ones with the best stories, so sharing them with us will make the news way more interesting. A cadet from the USMA West Point Academy will be visiting on Tuesday, November 22 from 10 to 11 a.m. in the Student Services Conference Room. Students could sign up for the visit through the Sign Up Genius link in the Counseling Resources Group on Schoology, or they can come to the Student Services. How's it going, everyone? The International Student Association's Thanksgiving meeting will be this November 18th. They'll be having a Kahoot making Thanksgiving cookies, and they will also be introducing the ISA t-shirt design for this year. More information will be available on their Instagram page. What's up, Novi? With the November 1st deadline passing for college applications, we decided to check in on our seniors and see how they're doing. I'm seven. I have two left, both out of state, though. Like a five. I would say a six. Uh, everything was a four, except my essay was probably like an eight. A 10, though. I'd say a 9. I would say they were like, like a 5. They weren't that bad. Uh, for me, it was like a 7. It was, it was pretty short slow. So, I'm not too stressed about it. Probably about it, uh, but like a 5. I mean, I'm not too stressed, but it's still a lot of work, so I'd say about a 6. I'm Mia, and thank you for watching this segment on the Cat Side News. So at KRX, a class here at Novi High School where the kids uh, run the school store. So we sell a variety of different spirit wear, uh, primarily Novi gear. Um, so part of the class, it's almost like a lab where they work in the school store, they sell things. Uh, and the other part, they're doing curriculum type stuff like a normal class. It's really fun to work with your friends and run a store and just sell a bunch of Novi spirit stuff. We're open during all three lunches. Uh, up until homecoming, we're usually open every lunch. After homecoming, uh, we rotate lunches. Uh, so one week, if we have, we're closed A lunch, the next week we'll be closed B lunch, and then the following uh, week we'd be closed C lunch. Uh, that way we're open to all students throughout lunches so they can gain access. Uh, but we do rotate those lunches in order each week. Hi everyone, my name is Sky and this is John and welcome to your first and hopefully annual mock election results versus real election results. This is going to be the Novi High School's mock election compared to the whole of Oakland County. Although the election results are still not official, we used Oakland County's unofficial results to calculate these percentages. For the voter turnout, Nova High School is at 47.95% versus Oakland County's 60.75%. Nova High School is 12.8% down from Oakland County. For the race for Michigan Governor, Gretchen Whitmer won in Nova High School and Oakland County. For Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson won both Novi High School and Oakland County. For U.S. Congress, Debbie Dingell was elected both at Novi High School and in Oakland County. For the other U.S. Congress spot, Haley Stevens won both Novi High School and Oakland County. For State Senator, Novi High School elected Rosemary Byer in accordance with Oakland County's results, who also elected Rosemary Byer. For State Representative, Novi High School and Oakland County both elected Kelly Breen. For the Board of Education for Novi Community School District, Novi High School elected Betsy Bodwine and Jason Mishner, which were reflected in the actual results. For Proposal 1, 82% of Novi High School voted yes versus Oakland County's 71.2% of yes. For Proposal 2, Novi High School voted yes by 80% and Oakland County voted yes by 64%. And finally, for Proposal 3, Novi High School voted yes by 84% versus Oakland County's 64%. The mock election seems to be pretty predictive of the actual Oakland County election. 
All the candidates that were elected in Oakland County were elected at the Novi High School, as well as the proposals all passed by a similar percentage. On average, the differences between the actual vote in Oakland County and Novi High School students' vote was 13.97%. Thanks for making Cat Sign News Novi High School's number one TV broadcast. We'll see you for our next one on Friday.